This kid just asked me if we had TV when I was little. <laughs> We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. You hear that sound? That's the sound of baby girl brushing her teeth this morning to make sure she gets her tokens. <laughs> okay, so it feels like a nice fall day right now. I'm gonna take full advantage. We're heading out on a morning walk. We pulled up a few things in the garden and the kids are now going to look at it. I have here three jalapenos. Okay. You, doesn't it smell spicy? Yes. Oh, yeah. It like, I, I think I've tasted a hot video before and it done. smells just like one. I don't Does think it? This one is done. Yeah, it is. It's just a different kind. This is what I thought Gensi would look like. They're working on their own, coding their own game. And the vegetables and the fruit and what? things have personality. So, peppers are Gensi. Oh, you got one? Camera found it. So, we're going to go out. Into my mouth. <laughs> It's time to head out on our walk and get started with the day. We're making room for chalk wall things, so I'm having Brian hang these up here and gonna put our maps over here. We'll see how that goes. It's fair, oh. but I think my... <laughs> what <laughs> smile is that, Savannah? What smile is that? <laughs> I hit my head. Hey, Cam. What the what, man? Can we bake today? Yeah, what you want to bake? Uh, I want to bake cake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you like taking care of your plant? Why are y'all giving me these fake smiles? Your mother gets paid in smiles and kisses and hugs. That's how I get paid. <laughs> okay, so we're moving things around just a little bit. Again. But you love me. Okay. Say you it. Have to cover these Say holes. it. Say it. I ain't gonna do it. You do. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Say you do. Camera's laughing. I am. <laughs> Two worlds is divorced in a yellow wood. By Robert Frost. <laughs> I'm not really the old type, so when I have kids, I don't know if they're gonna be the old type. I don't know. But your mother is the art type. You gotta let us. You're the old type, but you gotta let us do what we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Just as I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. <laughs> she said I'm not the art type. Just show we can read one more. Before 11 o'clock. I want to read the <laughs> You going to read the poems? So who's yes. waiting? Okay, come on. I'm ready. There's an irritating creature in my living room today. And it's played no inclination to forsake its station there. <laughs> with a smile upon its face. <laughs> if 
Okay, now it's camera's turn to be the whole thing. It is quiet reading time and the kids have about 25 to 30 minutes that they read so I can grab my coffee and try to read a little bit myself, you guys. Can we talk about screen time and how much I love it? <laughs> Y'all, um, when I did the curriculum video, and you guys responded really well to that, so I'm glad that it was somewhat helpful. But one thing that I mentioned inside of the curriculum video was kind of talking about how we use digital curriculum very heavily and I always avoid like the curriculum conversation but lately I've been thinking that maybe I have a little bit more to add to that um, conversation than I thought <laughs> and that's pretty much because digital curriculum has been like massive for us um, it's been a game changer for us so I thought that maybe I could take a little bit of extra time to share a few of our favorite digital curriculums one of the digital curriculum that we used a ton uh, when the kids were of like pre-k kindergarten age was learn with Homer so fun fact our last name is actually Homer so we always like we got a kick out of finding it several years ago but since then they have grown as a company and um, there's been lots and lots of updates and things but that app was legit like one of our favorites they ended up gifting us a subscription which is wonderful because um, Savannah said she was all down for jumping back into Learn With Homer so she can share with you some of her favorite things from the app. So I was thinking that might be a good thing to do to just kind of talk about um, some of the things we love and then how we used it creatively and how we used it as, I guess, main curriculum. So. read aloud for today the boy who wanted to win hello <laughs> and maybe i can get in a little bit more of this i was reading my book my book on those and i was reading it then i started thinking about if there was a video of what what that the characters were doing okay so then i was like about what if they made a movie out of the book wonders oh Girl. <laughs> yes. So do y'all remember when I did my whole TBR and uh, started my first reading challenge and was gonna read through all these books? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely didn't happen. So I was spending so much time um, trying to prepare for our Patreon launch, which I'm so excited because it actually goes live tomorrow, but by the time you guys see this video, it would have already been live. So, put all my heart and soul and effort and energy into getting that space ready to be launched again, which meant that my reads got pushed to the back burner, but that's okay, because we're just gonna jump right in again. I've gotten almost halfway through The Water Dancer and almost finished with The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. Almost finished meaning like almost halfway through. <laughs> Listen. Listen, don't judge me. I already said that it was probably gonna take me a while to get through it, but anyway. So I'm gonna get in a little bit of reading time while they do that. So we're gonna jump into our language arts studies after lunch, and I'll share with you some of our fav 
favorite digital curriculums and how we handle screen time. We have been major screen timers since the very beginning. So Netflix and YouTube and all the digital things have been our friends from the start. So I figured if there was anything I had to share, it would be something about that. <laughs> screen times are our friends. We just have to use wisdom when we're using them and make sure that we are disciplined uh, to stay the right course and the right path. But I thought this would be a good time to talk about it because after coming off of our little summer uh, staycation, we are normally home year round homeschoolers and now we've moved into more of our unschooled path. But um, they had a lot more typical screen time during our summer break. But now that we're back into our groove, um, our screen time is right back to being what it was before, which is not less screen time. It's just we have boundaries and rules and restrictions, not restrictions. We have boundaries and rules that we um, that we try to live by to make sure that screen time stays in its place and it is in its abundant place <laughs> around here. <laughs> but I'll share some of my favorites as soon as we make our way through reading time. <laughs> Underneath that was a dated looking version of Adam Gables. <laughs> Little girl. <laughs> Adam Green Gables is in my book. Yes. So that's actually on our list to read and watch. And with an E. So that's another screen time. <laughs> Watching movies, but that's big around here. We actually haven't read Anne of Green Gables yet, but we do have it in our library. So that's what she's talking about. Maybe she might want to add that to her TBR list. We'll see. Back to reading time, and I will check in with you later to chat a little bit more about screen time. We're starting back up with our Chronicles of Narnia. We're on The Magician's Nephew, Chapter 8. The Fight at the Lamppost. <laughs> So we made it through the majority of the guided part of the day and so now I'm taking a little coffee break. I warmed up my coffee because y'all know that we never get to have hot coffee, do we? <laughs> because I'm a horrible influencer <laughs> and I don't consider myself an influencer at all, um, but there are things that we have used in the past that we love that we can share about and um, it can benefit us for sharing, then I probably need to be doing that, especially since I'm trying to um, make efforts to raise funds for our research and development for our film. So our patron space is launched today and I'm taking note of a lot of different ideas that I want to run past them to see what they'd be interested in us sharing about. And one of those things is some of our favorite apps that we used when the kids were even younger because I have a lot of people that follow along that have much younger kids. And um, I feel like we are in a good place since we've passed those stage to be able to speak to them now. Some of our favorites like ABC Mouse, Time for Learning, Flash Math. One of our absolute favorites was Learn with Homer and the kids always got a major kick out of it because our last name is Homer. So they legit thought the app was made just for them. But we loved that app. So um, in efforts to try to build quality relationships, in our home with one another, with our friends, with our digital friends, um, and then also uh, endeavoring to build relationships with brands. We just wanna make sure that they're nice and authentic and Learn With Homer would be one of those extremely authentic relationships. So we reached out to them to see what type of affiliate program they have, just letting them know that we've loved their app and although we've kind of leveled out of the app, uh, we wanted to be able to share it with you all. So of course they gave us an affiliate link that if you join and try out their free trial, that does help our little family out, which is nice. They gave us a subscription for the year. Again, this is not something where we would use regularly, but we wanted to at least be able to pop in and provide some examples for how we used their uh, programs or how we use digital curriculum in order to expand upon it and let that be like solid curriculum for us. That, is it, that would be great to walk through with my patron. Uh, and of course, I'll share bits and pieces here along the way. We have been a screen time family since day one. I've never been the one that has any strong feelings about screen time because I don't consider it any different from anything else. 
Um, I think that even if you are reading a lot of books, you need to make good decisions when it comes to what books you select to read and why. And that's the same thing with shows that you watch, movies that you watch, friends that you choose. In anything that we do, we need to uh, learn to use wisdom. Um, and I feel the exact same way for screen time. I think that screen time gets away from us because there are certain disciplines and boundaries that we need to set around it. But I've never been a fan of shying away from screen time. I think that it's extremely beneficial. Um, and there are lots of apps that we used, or not lots of apps, but there are a few apps that we used in the beginning that are a major, uh, played a major role in the kids developing such strong reading skills. Uh, this was major in them like moving along on their journey to uh, learn to read and I have a video all about how my kids learn to read and I will link that in the description below as well. I hope that that encourages you because it's a very raw and real um, explanation of how my kids learn to read. Um, but I think it'll be fun for us to walk back through, walk down memory lane because y'all know we're all about memory keeping and uh, see what changes have been made in the app and chat uh, with you guys whether it's here on our uh, channel or on our Patreon space just kind of chat about how we took things and lessons from digital curriculum and how we make them really come to life in our home and in our school. So I'm a huge believer in digital curriculum, you guys. They've already done the work for you. It's simplified, it's streamlined, it's right in our device. Again, screen time is one of those things that we just created boundaries around. We set up our screen time limits on our devices, which means they need to have permissions after a certain amount of time. And I really don't load a lot of fluff. I load a lot of things onto their devices that will help them in their studies throughout the day. We use heavily a lot of the built-in apps on the device. Um, so apps like the calculator, apps like iMovie, Photo Booth, and the voice memos. We use a lot of those things that most people pass by to help add to our day. So anyway, um, I'm thinking about letting that be a little bit more a part of these videos just in case you find them helpful along the way. But yeah, let's not reinvent the wheel, friends. Let's use these tools and devices in a very disciplined and well thought out manner so that it can create more time for us to spend together um, with our kids and our families doing the work that is the most important. That was rambly, wasn't it? <laughs> my coffee, and my coffee is now cold again, isn't it? But it was worth it. But yeah, we found ourselves in an interesting place where we have a lot of friends and family that are reaching out with younger kids of younger ages and they and they are looking for like insight and advice on things and this is my go-to this is our go-to these digital curriculums are our go-to because uh, oh i wanted to show you something so i've been working on our website y'all know i'm big on having a vision for your homeschool and your family life in general i went back through our website and found um parts of our vision that we've stood on from the beginning and I have a little segment on how I feel about screen time in our homeschool, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, who is it? Jenga doll. <laughs> Jenga doll. So cool. It's a chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of our faves to study from the very beginning was who? Jenga doll. Jenga doll. Um, are you ready to log back in to learn with homework to see what they have? What's new? She's been so yes. excited. Yes. Yes. Is that Cameron? It is Cameron. Yes. Look at these pictures, you guys. You can tell by his face. And look, they were on their <laughs> screen. Look at his hair. He is an asshole. They were using their device. Hey, Bear. That's you. That was you on the device. <laughs> As a matter of fact, during bath time that one day, me. while he was on his device, I learned that he could read when he was about maybe <laughs> roughly two. There's that. Oh, you guys, look at these little archives. Baby Serena, baby Kendall. This was our original page. <laughs> look at them, they were so little. But I'm trying to look for the section where I wrote out my feelings on screen time. Let's oh, look you guys, I had listed all the links to our videos. There's the one with the tint, you guys remember. This one too. Y'all, it's been a journey, hasn't it? <laughs>
Look at number 13. I'm a homeschooling mama. There I said it. I'm committed. This was back in the beginning when I first started. But the decision to homeschool was not by choice, but rather assignment. I have no clue what I'm doing. But by grace, through faith, it'll be the best decision I've ever made. You guys. <laughs> number 14 says... Um, I believe in electronic homeschooling, if there is such a thing. You know, with iPads, stylus pens, Netflix, HDMI cords, and tons and tons of awesome apps. There will be plenty of posts on my homeschool style, I hope. <laughs> that was year one homeschool mom me. Look at this. Okay. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> I'm obsessed with being my family's memory keeper. Problem is my obsession is all in my head. More picture taking and video making and actually sharing with family and friends. See what he does to my life? That's why I can never drink. I bless your life. <laughs> Warm coffee. We're gonna take a walk down memory lane and see what the kids remember about Learn With Home. We love that app and we're gonna see all the new things that they've done along the way. Um, I feel like we've grown with it because we had it from the very beginning. If you want to try it out with a seven day free trial, we have our affiliate link in the description box below, which really helps our family Johnny a lot. Jenkins. Do you remember that? Jenny Jenkins roll. Jenny Jenkins. I remember that. Is it there? Oh my gosh! <gasps> Jenny Jenkins! <laughs> I remember it! You remember? I remember that bird! <laughs> And fun fact, you guys, I used to use an HDMI cord to connect this to the TV. And then you can see this whole screen here. And then I would control it. I think I might remember that. Yeah, I might remember Oh, they've got oldies with goodies on here. This kid oh, just yeah, asked me did. if we had TV when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the day. I'm done. I'm gonna switch over from homeschool mode, homeschool, unschool facilitator mode. The kids are gonna go play outside probably and I'm going to move over into work mode. So I'm gonna pop in with my patron fam and um, see how everybody is doing. But thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember that life is so very full of lessons so we live and we learn. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.